The popular TV show Cops officially canceled. The Paramount Network made the announcement today, just four days after the show was pulled from the schedule. This comes amid nationwide protests against police brutality and calls for police reform. The series has been on since 1989 and faced backlash for its depiction of law enforcement. Okay, I, I think when people were asking for cops to be canceled, this was not what they had in mind. You know what this is like? This is like when you make a wish with a genie but you aren't specific enough. I wish I was in the NBA. No, not as a ref. Ah, LeBron, that's a travel. And you know, if you ask me, I can't even believe that cops lasted this long. I mean, this was always such a weird show. Who comes home from a long day at work and is like, I wanna unwind, you know, let me watch some broke shirtless guys get their lives destroyed. It's the only way I can get some sleep. And you know, although this might seem like a frivolous thing, like removing cops from TV, I'll be honest, I think this is a move in the right direction. Because people take for granted how our perceptions of the police are shaped by the shows that we watch on TV. You know, so when we hear about police brutality, a lot of people are like, well, that, that can't be right. I, I grew up watching shows like Miami Vice and Starsky and Hutch and Hawaii Five-0 and all the cops, they, they never did anything wrong. In fact, if you think about it, even when we used to watch cop shows about a, a policeman violating somebody's rights or, you know, beating them up to get a confession, what would we think as kids? We wouldn't judge that cop. Because of how the story was told, we'd be like, this cop is trying to do his job, but the constitution is holding him back. So. No more cops. And that isn't the only problematic content that's being removed from American TV. This morning, an American cinema classic, Gone with the Wind, has been temporarily pulled by the streaming platform HBO Max. For years, the movie has been considered controversial for its depiction of black people and its glorification of slavery. In a statement, HBO Max writing in part, these racist depictions were wrong then and are wrong today. And keeping this title up without an explanation and a denouncement of those depictions would be irresponsible. Adding the film will return with a discussion of its history historical context and a denouncement of those very depictions. Man, this is a big move from HBO. They know that millions of people, millions of people love Gone with the Wind. They also know that the movie is problematic because it makes it seem like some slaves were having a pretty good time. And we know that's not true. I know some people want to argue that. They want to be like, oh, but some slaves didn't have it that bad and some slaves weren't having a tough... Let me tell you something. If slaves were having a good time, then they wouldn't have needed to be slaves. Yeah. The people could have just let them go home and see if they come back. That's how you know people are having a good time. Another reason you know they weren't having a good time is because no white person ever tried to become a slave. Yeah, no white person was ever like, hey, honey, I'm gonna go and see if they're hiring down at the plantation. I think I could make a pretty good slave. Do you think this, uh, this outfit makes me look professional? <laughs> Wish me luck. And look, I know that some people are gonna argue that this is just a movie. It doesn't have to be an accurate portrayal of slavery. But my argument is maybe you wouldn't have to rely on movies if American schools didn't use textbooks that referred to slaves as immigrants. Right? And if they didn't give out homework assignments asking people to list the positive aspects of slavery. If you can't count on the education system, then movies are gonna have to pick up that slack. 